children my name is faith I want to thank God for yet another opportunity granted unto us to praise the Lord the Lord is good I can't hear you the Lord is good yes of course the Lord is good so right now at this moment we shall have praise and worship and the lesson by teacher Olivia so let's humble ourselves and pray hands together eyes closed Loving Father, I want to thank you, I want to bless your name for this program, I want to pray that it will be a blessing to us and people outside there. I want to thank you and bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me eyes to see.
us humble ourselves and pray. Hands together, eyes closed. Our oh Lord Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our teachers. We thank you for everyone who is watching this program, Father. I ask you to bless them. I also ask you to bless our souls. Protect us and guide us from coronavirus, Father. Protect this country from COVID-19, Father. I also ask you to bless the candidates who are in school right now. Protect them and guide them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I've prayed. Amen. 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 A memory verse comes from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 16, and verse 11. Chronicles is found in the Old Testament. So when you open in the Old Testament, you will see the book of Chronicles. So it's First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 11. Let me read to you what it says. Chronicles 6, 11 says, Go. To the, to, the, to the Lord for help and worship him continually. Go to the Lord for help and worship him continually. The Bible is telling us, it's telling me and you to go to God and worship him continually. But how do you go to God? Do you wake up in the morning, dress up, put on your nice shoes and the bag, and then you go to God and meet him somewhere? Okay, how do we go to God as children of God? We go to God in prayer. Okay, you humble yourself, then you talk to God in prayer. You also study his word. And after studying the word, you pray. And that's how we go to God. So the Bible is telling us we go to him for help. Are you in need? Is there anything that you want God to do for you? Maybe it could be for your mom, your dad, or your aunt, or your friend, or anyone that you know. Maybe you could go to God for your country, Uganda, that God may help this country to be at peace. So is there anything at your heart that you want God to do? Here the Bible says, go to him, because with him all things are possible. So go to God for help. And worship him continually. Don't only go because you need something from him. Allow him to be part of your life. That you will worship him every day. That worshiping God will be part of your life. That it becomes part of you. And so let's go to God when we need help and worship him continuously. You don't go to your friend or you don't go to your uncle or you don't go to... Those are uh, any other person for help. Our help only comes from the Lord. Do not be deceived that there's anybody that can help you without God. If somebody helps you, then it's God who has caused that person to help you. So without God, you have no way. You without God, we don't have any help. So with him, we can get our help. So let's repeat a verse again. I know it's very simple. We can keep this verse at heart and memorize it as well. So it says, First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. It says, Go to the Lord for help and worship him continually. Go to the Lord for help and worship him continually. Let me repeat again. Go to the Lord for help and worship him continually. First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 11. Remember to go to God for any help and remember to worship him. Don't forget. May the good Lord bless you. There. Praise the Lord, precious children of God. We are happy to have you on Family TV. My name is Teacher Olivia. And on my right, Faith. And on my left, Tendo. 
We want to welcome you and we are happy that we are going to share with you the word of God. Before we go any further, remember to have your Bible, your notebook and your pen to note whatever that you are going to learn right now. Shall we pray? Hands together, eyes closed. Father Lord, we want to thank you because you love us. We thank you because you knew us before we were conceived in a mother's womb. Lord, we thank you because you care about us. Lord, we thank you because it's you who helped us to overcome. And Lord, we pray that as we are going to study your word, we ask you, Holy Spirit, to come and guide us. Open our spiritual ears to hear from you. We pray that you cause these your children to understand your word for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And the children of God say, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever spent a day without eating food and felt so hungry? How did you feel when you had a very long day without drinking water, without taking any juice, without eating any food? We want to know how you felt. Let me ask my friend Faye to tell us how she felt when she went the whole day without food. Yes, Faye. Well, as for me, I felt so hungry, mm -hmm. energetic less because, and the reason why I missed that food because they prepared a dish that I never liked, so I had to fast away from that, and I felt so hungry, I felt so weak that I wouldn't do house chores. Thank That's you so all. much, Faith. She says that she felt so hungry, she was very weak, she didn't have any energy. That's how she felt. Can you tell us, Tendo, how you felt? I felt, I felt, I felt uh, like, like God should take me away because I was dying. <laughs> I was very hungry. I was dying. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tendi. You see how people feel when they're very, very hungry. And today, in a lesson, we are going to learn about a man who went without food and neither water or anything for 40 days. Four and zero. 40 days. Oh my God, those were so many days. Faith, can you fast for 40 days? No. Ten, can you manage? <laughs> no. You can't. You see, one day made everything turn upside down. But 40 days. We are going to learn about this, a superhero who did fast for 40 days. 40 days and 40 nights without eating anything. Food. No one can do that except God. And I want to tell you this morning that it's Jesus who did fast for 40 days and 40 nights without eating any food. And let's see in our Bible. We are going to read in our Bible in Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11. Remember, our Bible has got two testaments the Old Testament and the New Testament. So Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. And the Bible has got chapters and verses. The big, bold number you see in the Bible, it is called a chapter. And then the small ones are called verse. So faith is going to read for us Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 5. Let's see what it says. Okay, Matthew from chapter, from verse 1 to 5 says that, Then the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After spending 40 days and nights without food, Jesus was hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, order these stones to turn into bread. But Jesus answered, the scripture says, human beings cannot live on bread alone, but need every word that God speaks. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem, the holy city, set him on the highest point of the temple. Thank you so much, Faith. 
Now, the Bible is telling us that Jesus was taken to the, where? Yes? I, I know I cannot hear you, but I, I knew you can answer me. So Jesus was taken by the Holy Spirit to be tempted by the devil. Who is in this story tempting the other? It is the devil tempting Jesus. And so we realize in our reading that the devil uses the word of God. It says, if you are the son of God, do this. If you are the son of God, do this. You go up and jump. Then you won't hurt yourself. He was, the devil was quoting to Jesus the Bible. But Jesus also answers him back, quoting the same Bible. And so let's see what the Bible says from verse 6 to 11. Verse 6, and say to him, If you are God's son, throw yourself down, for the scripture says, God will give orders to his angels about you. They will hold you up with their hands, so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. Jesus answered, but the scripture also says, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in all their greatness. All this I will give you, the devil said, if you kneel down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus answered, Go away, Satan. The scripture says, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Mm -hmm. Then the devil left Jesus and angels came and helped him. Thank you so much, Tendo, for that reading. So the Bible is emphasizing to us the devil is, was tempting Jesus. Do this and you'll have this. Do this and you'll have this. But Jesus stood by the word of God. He answered the devil back using the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the devil will always tempt us. If he tempted Jesus, our master and savior, then he can tempt you as well. Situations might come in your life. Many times you might be tempted to do something or you might be tempted to steal or to take that money or you might be tempted to fall in love with that boy or that girl because he promised to give you money. Remember the devil told Jesus, I will give you all this if you bow down and worship me. But remember, Jesus said, away from me, Satan. We, we need to use Jesus' approach. The same way Jesus answered back to the devil, we need to uh, uh, flee. The, uh, we need to refuse the confusion of the devil and say, away from me. Don't allow to be confused so the devil will tempt you you will be tempted okay but remember you need to stand by the word of the lord many times when we have challenges or problems many voices come in our hearts you will tell you give give you an ideas do this do that do that but remember jesus stood on the word so when you are tempted when you hear very many voices and many times it is the voice of the devil okay the devil will uh, tell you to do this will even quote the word the bible to confuse you but do not allow to be confused and how will you overcome how did jesus overcome this temptation faith can you share with us how did jesus overcome he used the word of God. He used the word of God. And the spirit of the Lord was also upon him. Faith, do you have any answer? Yes. Uh -huh. Tell us. He had the Holy Spirit with him. He had the Holy Spirit with him. He used the word to overcome the devil. And so we need to have the word of God at heart. Don't just cram the memory verse. And that is it. Have it at heart. Use it. Apply it in your life. Okay? So you need to have the word of God. Take time and study the Bible. And take time to pray. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. And to, to, to show you the way to go. Because if you don't do that, then you will fall in temptation. So we have to be victorious just like our Master Jesus who overcame. If Jesus overcame, then we can overcome as well. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we have a song to sing. 
for you. It is that song of read your Bible and pray every day. When you don't read your Bible and pray every day, then you won't grow. Then you won't overcome the devil. He might win you, yet you're a child of God. So we should never allow to be tempted and we should always study the word of God and grow spiritually. Jesus was God. For him, he overcame. Because he is God, the devil could not win him why because he is god he has authority over the devil so for us we are human although jesus is in us so we need to study the word and allow jesus to help us and fight for us the battle okay so we are going to sing our song read your bible and pray every day two three and go Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, if you want to win the day. Can we sing it again? Yes. That was very beautiful. One, two, three, we go. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to win the day. So do you want to win the devil like Jesus did? Read your Bible and pray every day. And that, that will only help you to overcome the temptations of the devil. Do not sit there and only wait on Sunday to open your Bibles every day read your bible every day and pray every day in that way you will grow spiritually and you'll be able to know all the um, the plans all the tricks of the devil thank you so much may the good lord bless you shall we pray um faith can you pray for us okay let's stand ourselves and pray hands together eyes closed Loving Father, I want to thank you, I want to glorify your name, I want to thank you for this session that we have had. Mm -hmm. And loving Father, I want to pray that what Teacher Olivia has ministered unto you, that it may be a blessing to the children out there, loving Father, that God, her reward will be given by you, loving Father. May you give her the blessings that she deserves. We want to pray that, Lord, everything that we do, we shall do it in your name. And we pray that you'll make us to be like Jesus, that we shall use the word to overcome the devil. We want to pray that you will give us the power and the grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And the children of God say, Amen. Amen.